All right, everyone, look, we got it wrong with the circle, the cube, and the cylinder. But have we tried a rhombus? Ah, oh, hi everyone, I'm Sam Tucker from Apple. And look, we're not afraid to admit it when we get it wrong. And by we, I mean you. You're appreciating us wrong. Anyway, today I thought I'd go through some of the decisions at Apple that we've had to undecide and go back on. People clearly miss the buttons, right? Starting with the touch bar. Remember that little low resolution wonder? You know, you'd think if we could afford this much high resolution display, we could just trim a little more off and put it near your fingertips. But no, because not only was it blurrier than the main display, but also, unlike the main display, it would also turn off while you're using it. People clearly miss the buttons. And that's because with the touch bar, we wanted to give our customers a bigger F you than 12 individual F keys ever could. F you and have a great day. Unfortunately, people didn't like touch keys that would turn off to save power or butterfly keys that would turn off if you have too many Doritos. And so we had to go back to the classic scissor mechanism. While we had those scissors though, we decided to chop out some more things, like the ports. You would not believe what your computer used to come with. And over the years, we've had to trim it down a little. Like, you want ethernet? Well, how about you eat this shit? Ooh, you'd love to use an SD card, wouldn't you, slot? Get it out of here. Why play it MagSafe when you can live dangerously expensive? And it turns out your CDs can suck Ds. If you really want one, it costs $99. That's right, all ports were meant to be replaced by a single USB-C word. But then people complained too much, so we took some of those dongles and put them back into the computer. And of course, who remembers 3D Touch? No? Well, I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So 3D Touch was where you could press harder on the screen to bring up more options. It was basically a right click for touch screens. But turns out encouraging people to press hard on glass might not be the best idea. And so we replaced it with haptic touch, which is basically just long pressing on the phone. So that now, instead of wasting your money, you waste your time. You're welcome. And that is what we admit we got wrong, okay? There are a few things, however, that we will never admit we got wrong. Here's a short list. The iPhone should not have a thing called a SIM card slot. Why would a phone have that? Eight gigabytes of RAM is enough. Shut up already. What's a computer? Well, not an iPad, because that won't be getting Mac OS anytime soon. And we stand by our decision to cut out the headphone jack in the iPad, because now it can be thinner and more flexible. Subscribe today. Everyone, thanks for watching the video. By the way, I found that list of things that Apple won't admit they got wrong. It's a bit longer than they said. So they haven't admitted that they charged the mouse wrong. They haven't admitted that they charged the stylus wrong. And they haven't admitted that their most powerful Mac shouldn't look like a cheese grater.